greens have grown a ton to the point where actually I had to split it. So I did five. Thank God I didn't do 10, but I think next I'm gonna just do one because I put half and already just like so much came out of it. So for lunch, we are doing toast. Um, I forgot to get eggs, but it's okay. Um, we're gonna just do kind of more of like a ricotta toast. Well, one ricotta, because I had these small pieces of bread. So one ricotta, one burrata. And then towards the end of last week, I thought I was gonna have toast and I didn't end up having it, but I mixed mushrooms and tomatoes in the air fryer and kind of just like had them air frying for a long time so they're all like nice and charred. And sound like such an ad but I just want to let you know that it's not but I think that I found the best at home no machine required really yummy delicious espresso drinks coffee espresso shots I don't really know what to even call them um, but yeah so just a background on like the way that I drink coffee number one is I have an espresso machine so normally I just use that and then I add milk and sugar which goes to the second thing which is that I am a mainly iced latte drinker and my biggest problem with Nespresso pods is that I just personally cannot taste the difference between one pod and another um, I feel like they all kind of taste the same and that might be because of the way that I make coffee but overall I just feel like it lacks the deep and creaminess that I can get at a cafe so I had been getting a lot of Target ads about a company called Cometeer. Eventually, I'd seen so many that I was like, okay, you know what, let me just see the website. I look at them, love their website, explained it really clearly. Uh, the best way that I can explain it, and I could be getting it totally wrong, is that pretty much they grind their beans super fresh and they make the, they pull the espresso and as soon as they pull it, they flash freeze it so that it, sustains all of the greatness that a fresh espresso would have and i just want to put out there that it was not a like mm, i'm gonna just buy it type of thing because these pods are expensive like i they are not something that you just like buy on the fly so for each pod it's two dollars i know that might sound crazy that i'm saying that that's expensive but in perspective my Nespresso pods are like 75 cents, especially because I have the original line. And if, even if I get a special one, it'll be like $1.50. So to jump from that to $2, it's kind of like, this better taste good. So I got the variety pack with a light, medium, and dark roast. And for me, they came in containers like this. So it's really simple. You pretty much just melt the pod and then you make your drink however you want. And I have been making my standard latte the same with the same ratios of everything for each pod. And I have to say, number one, I can taste the difference between each pod. Like I can actually taste the difference. Two, it is so creamy and the flavor is just so deep in there. It just, it does not compare to like my Nespresso pods. It, it's just like, I feel like I just went to a cafe 
and they just grinded fresh and they just like made this espresso shot and added it to it. It's like that fresh tasting. It's insane. And I know someone who normally drinks their coffee black um, and we went to a coffee truck nearby and they sell coffee from the company Onyx, which you saw that we get pots from. And this truck is supposed to be really, really good. And out of five, that guy had ranked that coffee four out of five, which is great. Um, and then he tried this coffee and was like, this one's better, this one's better. Additionally, the next day he went to another cafe, I don't know what cafe, and he literally texted Eric being like, yo, the coffee that you guys made, way better, the best. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, that's just, that's just what it is. So they actually gave me a referral code. I think they just give all their customers a referral code because it's more based off of like them wanting to grow. Um, so I do have one. If you want to use it, you get $25 off. I think, I feel like I used someone's referral code because I also got $25 off. So if you want $25 off and you want to try it, um, I'll leave the link below to my referral. I hope you try it. I mean, you don't have to, but it's, it's good. It's good. At least try once and then cancel your subscription. I don't know. <laughs> Here it is, the, the coffee. Oh, so good. I haven't had coffee in a while, um, but oh, this is good. This is good. Mm. I actually ordered decaf pods, um, which is a huge thing for me because I don't care about coffee enough to get decaf, but wow. <gasps> oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? You know the strawberry alarm clock from the cafe in California? Do I need to retry it with these pods? Because I'm telling you, I really think that it was because of Nespresso pods, not because of my strawberry puree. I mean, maybe it was my strawberry puree, but like, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't have strawberries, but maybe I'll try eventually. Um, because if it tastes good, then oh my, then then no more espresso pods. I'm only sticking to comment here. Mm -mm. So I've been testing out city biking for a while now. Had some good, have some bad. Like the one time that I tried it last time, it was just really nerve wracking because I also don't know how to drive. So it was just stressful to be on the road. And then when I did it another time after, I couldn't find a docking station, and so that was also really stressful. Um, but now I feel a little bit better. I think I just need to practice when it's a lot of people are on bikes and there aren't that many cars on the road, which is luckily today. So feeling good. I am meeting my boyfriend and his friend for lunch. I believe we're going to just do like a whole another Brooklyn day. Um, hopefully it's not too repetitive, but I think I'm here a little early. I told them that it was going to take me pretty much around the same time um, because I'm so slow on the bike, but I'm pretty proud of myself because it took me a lot less time than I thought it was going to. Just fine. 